praise. <laughs> How are you doing? Man? I'm good. I'm good. Are you sure you're good? I'm good. Because I know you had a mission to be here to the end of the season. How are you feeling right now, honestly? Well, I, I, I feel blessed already because I'm making it this far alone. Is, um, it's a blessing. So, you know, living from week to week, yeah. week to week, and that H-O-H -H game. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back again to my channel. It's your girl, Vicky. How are you guys doing? Guys, please, I'm so sorry I brought the news of Erica. Guys, a little bit late. That video is up. Please go check it out. And if you're seeing me for the very first time, please consider to hit on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. And do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever I post a new video. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Oh, let's just get right into this video immediately. First of all, I'm going to be starting from immediately after the eviction. There are a lot of things Erica actually said because Erica went out, even though she was really shaky. She actually went to the washing place, the place they stand to wash, and she was like, if she doesn't make mistake, we will not be entertained. My mistake is their entertainment, right? If we don't make mistakes on this show, uh -huh. is this show not going to be boring? <laughs> okay, we're not going to talk about so yeah. At least now, give me their They're talking, about. yeah. So keep talking. Yes. Like, and anyone else to talk. Please, have you not done anything wrong before? And then she was all, also very, very angry at Lekon that Lekon did not come to commensurate with her. Like Lekon did not come to console her. That can you imagine? She had two strikes and Lekon did not come to tell her, sorry, sorry, sorry. And I'm like, even, even if me, I'm Lekon, me, I wouldn't have gone. Yes, I'm petty like that because me, the person you actually have this strike for, it's because of a guy, you understand? And we are both interested in you and you've been doing this thing all in front of me. Why should I come to console you? But I'm sure Lekon will actually go, by the way. Yeah, moving on today was the eviction night like you obviously click this video because that of that eviction ebuka actually came with his drama and table shaking you know ebuka is the king of table shaking he shakes table for a living you get actually ebuka shook a lot of table because that is the most interesting part of this whole eviction like you guys know it was praise that was evicted but i'm going to be gisting you guys about the whole table shaking that ebuka actually shook before praise was finally evicted First of all, Ebuka asked Kidwire about his reign that the housemates were saying that he was power drunk. And then like we all know about Kidwire. Kidwire said that he does not know what they are thinking, but one thing he knows about himself that he's a very relaxed person. A lot of the housemates um, did have a lot to say behind your back about the fact that you seemed, for want of a better phrase, power drunk this week. Why was your tenor seen that way, you think? I'm not sure, I think we should ask those people why. Uh, I was very relaxed, to be honest with you. Um, got things done when it needed to be done. Read the briefs when it needs to be read. I was very relaxed, to be honest. And you will not deny the fact that truly what Kidwire actually said is, is true because Kidwire is one of the most lackadaisical housemates we have in the Big Brother Niger season 5. He actually doesn't, things doesn't really move him. He doesn't allow things to bother him, which is good to some extent. And sometimes he just passed off as an I don't care attitude, you understand? And then the next person that Ebuka actually asked was, Ebuka actually asked Tolani Badge because Tolani Badge had a conversation with Kidwire and was telling Kidwire that she doesn't want to be in the same group with um, Lucy during the Hawaii tax. And you know, Tulani Badge was like, oh no, that's not what she meant. She was trying to deny it, but actually, she actually later owned up. Deputy head of house. Congratulations for the immunity, even though that's taken away next week. Um, but I want to talk about something else. Now, you had a challenge uh, this week. I think it was the Hawaii Soap Challenge. Um, it got to a point where you had to pick a shirt. Kidwaya got into the room. And you had a bit of a struggle with him because you did not want to be in the same group as Lucy. Why was that? I like the fact that Tolani Badge was like, I said what I said, you get. She, she, she actually owned up and 
damn the consequences um well i wasn't the one that said i didn't want to be in a group with, with her well you kind of did because you didn't want to give up the shirt so why didn't you want to be a group with lucy the thing is i didn't want to be in the white team regardless i wanted the black so I no you specifically black. said you didn't want to be a group with lucy okay <laughs> i said i don't want to be in the group with her why is that I, I'm, I'm backing it up because i don't think she's easy to work with Unlike Brighto, who Ebuka actually asked him that he had a conversation with the same kid wire stating that Neo is fake. And you need to hear how <laughs> I could not believe that Brighto can be that because Ebuka was like, Are you denying it or you're chicken out? Are you calling me a liar or you're 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 chickening? You understand? And Brighto could not just deal with it because Brighto still firmly denied. So how are you doing? I'm all right, Ebuka. Oh, yeah. Very well, thank you. Thanks for asking. Um, a couple of days ago, you were in the arena, you had a conversation with Kid Wire, where you clearly said you thought that Neo was pretending or was being fake. Can you expand on that for me? Um, I can't really remember saying that. Yes, I do remember. You did say that in the arena. But the video was circulating. I saw it. I heard it clearly where Brighto was talking with Kid Wire, saying how much of a fake person new is so are you being a chicken now or are you saying i'm lying which of them no we say the new is fake no i didn't say that so you're saying i'm lying or you're being a chicken which of them <laughs> no i didn't say that Ibuka. so you're, you're saying i'm lying <laughs> no i didn't say that finally he succeeded in denying it but you and i know that right so actually said that and he could not own it up he could not say it with his chest to the face of new and <laughs> i'm like why say things behind someone when you can't even say it in front of them are you scared nobody's gonna beat you anyways so why gossip and you you it's time for you to own it up and say it in presence of the person and you cannot just say anything moving on Ebuka asked lucy what her feelings was towards praise and lucy was trying to beat around the bush and Ebuka was like i know you're a very vocal person there is no need you beating around the bush with me tell me you like the guy you did trip for um you want me to not do aggressive cuddling <laughs> or oh, that's not what Ibuka actually said you get what do you feel for new and then she was just back and forth being like this thank you um interesting dynamic you're in right now um how do you feel about praise hey, I don't know <laughs> uh, I don't know you are very vocal so don't give me mm right now yeah um I think we're cool. We're on and off. It's, um, it's a like dislike situation. It's been Lucy and praise, praise, praise. And then, unfortunately, they have finally evicted. Oh God, they have finally evicted this um, <laughs> this um, 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 praise, which would have I don't know which whether he would have succeeded in giving her an aggressive cuddling. No one knows because praise is unpredictable, and Lucy is unpredictable because this week Lucy has been so 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 much of an extra person that we never knew she was and then the last but not the least ebuka actually asked v because there was a time v was actually advising lakon and even trying to instigate that whether um, um erica has used just on lakon ebuka actually asked her that what was that advice for what wh why was she sounding the way she was sounding and v was like i care about my friend's emotions i care about how he felt and ebuka was like you care about him more than erica she said at this very instant i care more about lakon more than i cared about erica but i want to talk to you about something else you've had quite a bit of a conversation this week with Lacon about Erica. You went as far as telling him pretty much to stop talking to her, um, almost sort of making it look like she's done something to sort of um, infatuate him because you almost started praying and saying whatever is holding my friend, I bind and cast. What's that about? Um... I just like how vocal um, V is because she had no strength to start denying up and down and start beating, being hanky panky and trying to say that I did not say it. She said it was nothing personal and I just want to believe that that I feel like V did not say anything personal but she was just trying to state facts to lay on you guys and this was just how she actually responded to that question. I feel like it's nothing personal with Erica but I feel like Lacon feels quite strongly about her. And I'm never going to tell Lincoln what to do, but I have advised him to stop speaking to her. So yes, finally, V actually 
cleared that air. I don't know if Madam Confrontation, Miss Erica, is going to actually confront her, trying to make her ask her why she actually said that about her to Lacon. You get, I don't know whatever the issue is, but finally, praise was finally evicted because if housemates that were all for possible eviction, the four housemates that were at the bottom four was praise, trickety, watoni, and V. And you guys need to see the cute reaction of new new that said that it was over between him and v you need to see when ebuka threatened as if he wanted to evict you you need to see how new actually reacted see you you're evicted you have 10 seconds to exit the big brother house good luck to four of you v what you're safe please sit <laughs> Guys, that's just it. Sometimes make know they talk what you know go feed do this you know even cook get money. They really, really like the girl. So I don't understand why all the drama, why all the 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 the, the shakara that he, he was doing. See how he almost fainted even before the person that they were supposed to evict. I don't know. I don't know. Did you guys I was just I was just laughing while watching it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and please, guys, if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel what are you waiting for what are you waiting for please hit on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that youtube will inform you whenever i post a new video thank you so very much for watching and i will most definitely see you in my next one bye guys